All right, man, it's Saturday the 24th, and it is uh, 10.37 in, the, well, daytime, as you can tell. But uh, here's the story. Um, this is kind of a big deal. I'm, uh, I'm on my way to pick up Charlie. Uh, she's basically a fan favorite, you know, I get... You know, a few emails every week about wanting to know how she's doing. And I didn't know. Another subscriber, and she disappeared. I, I don't know where she went. But another subscriber, you know, uh, Gigi, has been in contact with her, you know, kind of throughout. And we were able to exchange emails, etc., etc. And uh, we're going to go pick her up, man. It's 100 miles away. But my car still on the DL the disabled list but uh no that's uh I'm quite confident in my skill level but uh yeah let's uh let's get right to it we're gonna bounce right into the video right now hey hi oh yeah hi now hi, look Bruno. at him hi Look at him. Hi, Bruno. Hi. Yeah, we've had to make two. Uh, I missed you also. Hi. We've made two Hi. Bruno stops oh. and uh, one gas <laughs> stop and then three U turns. Oh, wow. Uh, after everything's said and done, it's about a half hour. You know? Yeah. I've... But no problem. Hi, Bruno. Oh, my God. It's great to see you. You look yeah. radiant. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> big hugs. Big hugs. Thank you. Oh, no, you're very welcome. It's good to see you. Hey, uh, you sent me that picture on the email of your family that came to visit you. Uh-huh. Now, who was that? Uh, my mom, my sister-in-law, and my brother. Sister-in-law? Yeah. Okay, so your brother's wife? Correct. I didn't even know you had a brother. Yeah, yeah, I have... Um, Three or four, I have to <laughs> I count know. them somewhere in there. Yeah, I have to count them. Like, now, are they from? Count. Are they from Louisiana also? Yeah. Really? Well, they didn't travel up here. They live here in Georgia, but yeah, we're all from Louisiana. Oh wow! Because I remember, you know, quite a spell ago that you had said that, you know, that's where you wanted to go back to. You know, you're like you're done with this town. Yeah, you know, that I, was. I can't blame you. You know, don't get me wrong. You know. Man, it's great to see you. Your smile's back. Your your radiance is fantastic. Uh, I don't even know where I'm going. <laughs> well, uh, I... Well, we'll just park somewhere. Yeah. We'll go out and shoot the shit for a little bit. But, uh... All right. Um, Is it okay if I show your family's picture? Yeah. In the video okay did you see the one from this morning i, I sort of did um, I, I started watching it and then somebody distracted me at the apartment yeah um, i would imagine um I, I saw like the first like three seconds of it then i, <laughs> then I turned my phone off when it says three two one yeah you know, that's about it no that's cool was the lady okay uh i, I saw the headline something about uh absolutely not <laughs> And that's the dilemma that my day has given me. Look at him. He just wants kisses and hugs. I, and I think if we go out and sit on a park bench or something, he'll try to find your leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Red light, finally. Oh, I, I am not taking this way back. Okay. I will drive 35 miles out of my way. Because I'm so sorry. It was no, it's not... No, nothing to do with, you know, not your fault at all. But the problem is, is that it takes me through all these small towns. Yeah, fastest road. You know, yeah. 86 miles. I'm like, well, okay. You know, Saturday, midday, no problem. You yeah. know, light traffic. Eh, not so much. You get in all these small towns, you know, it's a mess. It's and nice you to look see gorgeous. You. you do, you look great. Thank you. I'm so happy. The last time I think that we saw each other is when I had dropped you off. We, we went and did uh, your laundry. 
I think so. At that laundromat over, then I brought you back to Pine Street and I went there, you know, a few days later and then many days after that and the apartment's cleaned out. Yeah. Wow. Would you like to share what happened? Um, uh, they got to be too much. Um, um, being, being in that town, not homeless anymore with the apartment, but, um, being by myself, um, I needed medicine and I, I found that out over here in this, in this county. Um, what county are, are we in Polk? I uh, no, we're in Buford. Buford County. Buford, yeah. Oh, so it's the county and the city. Um, I'm not sure. Well, if it's Buford County and, and we're in Buford, you know. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, no, that makes sense. But, uh, um, all right. Yeah, it just got to be too much. I wasn't getting anywhere. I tried to find... Spinning your wheels. Yes, good way of putting it. Yeah, just, you know, going through the motions. It's like, okay, the daily grind. Yes. Gotcha. But leaving everything behind like that was the best thing I the best thing I could have done. Well, so I would say in the, as my phone just fell off my rat, no big deal. Um, I would say perhaps in the long run that, um, would you consider adult in a distant memory? Yes. Good for you. Yes. Good for you. Um, I have no intention of <laughs> going back there anytime soon. <laughs> no intentions. Uh, yeah, um, no, no, um, I mean, I still have an ex-husband and two kids that live in that county, but I have no intention of going back anytime soon. In Whitfield? Yeah, in Whitfield. Really? I didn't know you had a husband and two kids, so you're not officially divorced? No, I ex-husband. He's an ex-husband. I'm oh. officially divorced. He's remarried. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, um, no, he's an ex. Yeah, I remember we met up one time. It was close to, you know, your, well, actually, we were driving by a park. And you had said that's where, you, you know, you would bring your kids and you got really sad. And I was like, oh, man. Yeah. I wish I went to brought, brought it up. But, hey, man, things are looking up. You're on, you're, on, you're on the home front now. Yeah, I am. So tell me how you got from the apartment here. Well, I, in, I walked from Dalton to Atlanta. Um, you walked from Dalton to Atlanta. Getting a few, getting a few rides here at lifts here and there. Yeah. Um, well, that's only a hundred miles. Uh, um, How long did that take? Like two, two days, I think it was. Well, you made a pretty good time. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got a few lifts. I got a few lifts. Um, We're just gonna pull over at some random spot. You yeah, know, it's stuff. I don't even know where I am. Yeah. Well, um, uh, there's a Chinese buffet up here. The Mall of Georgia is right over here. The Mall so of Georgia. Does that tell you where you're at? No. No. Okay. <laughs> I don't get down here to the south that much. But you say you've been here, what? Um, almost thirty days. Thirty now? days. Yeah, a month. Okay. Wow. Well, um, well, my app says I can get a job in 32 days, so I've been here 28 days, to be exact. Okay, so you have two days before they'll... Now, do they find you employment? No, no, I have I have to wait another 30 days. It's 60 days into the program. Okay, okay. It's a 90-day program. 90 days, okay. And I'm, I'm 28 days in. So you got 58. Correct. Yeah, or 52. Um, so, well, um, a third of the way. Almost, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, 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 I'm there. I'm God, you look great. I just can't believe it. It's like, oh, I, I didn't know if I'd ever see you again. I had no idea. I get a shower every day. <laughs> I get a shower every day. I, I, I have a once, bed to sleep in. Instead of once every other week. Yeah. 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 Oh my um, God. My water phobia had went away. So that's yeah, good. you, you um, had mentioned that before. You know, it's like. Oh, Charlie, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. I get I get about two to three emails every week asking about you. Really? Yeah. And Gigi put me in touch with you because she's been, I guess, in contact with you. Yeah. And then minutes later, you know, you and I were exchanging messages. I was like, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I, you know, just, I thought of it like, this is a blast from the past. That's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's fantastic. And then, uh, so all the questions can be, you know, put on hold and whatnot. Let me see if I can get over. Yeah. I'm just going to find some stupid random parking lot. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Yeah. It's 
so I gotta let him out anyways. Oh, Lordy B, because I went, after we did your laundry, I went back a couple days later, and your air conditioner that was in your window, the older style one, was gone. And there was a new one sitting on the ground. And the curtain was gone from the window, etc., etc. And uh, well, maybe find us a shady spot. Yeah. And uh, I peeked in the window and it, it was cleaned out. I was like, damn. That happened fast. I, yeah, I didn't leave on good terms. I didn't tell them I was leaving, but the apartment was government funded. Right. Um, that was through the, what did you say, HUD? The HUD community, yeah, the HUD community. Um, I should have told them, but my mental state at the moment, I couldn't. Um, I, I needed to, I, I needed to, you know, in Dalton, Georgia, I needed to run from Dalton, Georgia. Um, well, what happened here? about it. <laughs> I didn't want this. I'm just going to do a U turn. So I ended up um, in Atlanta. Somebody had slipped me the date rape drug. I ended up in the hospital for four days. You got to be kidding me. No, I was, I'm, I'm serious. Ended up well, that's the, just another reason not to be where you were. Exactly. You know, all right, man, we got so much to talk about. Well, that just makes me ill. You know, so how did you get... Do you, can I, can you, can you t say the name of the facility that you're, you're working with? Yeah, it's Good Landing. Good Landing. And they treat... It's a rehab. It's a faith-based rehab for narcotic um, abusers or alcoholic uh, abusers. Okay. Um, it's a really good program. It really is. And you have also mentioned... You know, through our emails back and forth here the last couple of days, is the fact that you wanted to be a counselor. Yeah, a substance abuse counselor. I had to go to what they call detox. It's what I call it a mental ward, but it's <laughs> more than a mental. It's you know, it's a hot in-house stabilization. It's a kind of like a little mini hospital, but more stricter. Um, right, kind of like almost intensive care. So, yes, yeah, something so like that. So to speak. Yeah. All right, this looks like a nice shady spot. Yeah, we'll just chill for a minute. But uh, so I, I went there and um, I saw a doctor and they put me on some really good medicine. And then now um, I'm I'm in this rehab and they have a therapist. I get to see a therapist here, which is really good. Um, I'm still on all my medicine, so the. I'm just going to, the, the voices in my head I don't hear anymore. I remember you were having trouble getting your medicines before, you know, back in Dalton a couple months back. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't, I wasn't able to get to get them, but that's not the issue now. All right, I'll tell you what, would you like a water? Uh, I have, I have sodas. Um, I've got a Dr. Pepper. And I yeah, I'll take a, a Dr. Pepper okay. uh, yeah, or, got or a, a water. Yeah, you got the air, and you can direct these vents towards Thank you. you. Yeah. Are you, are you, thank you. I, oh, and it's cold. Yeah. Are you still going? Obviously you are. Going? Um, doing the feeding the homeless and stuff. Well, every day. Well, <laughs> every day that I can. I might have to rephrase that because of my uh, car issue. But I've been using my mom's and she's not a big fan of that because she feels trapped. There's you know. a difference between Dr. Pepper and Dr. Thunder. Yeah. It's a no. You can take that off. All right, thank you. Yeah, I'll drink this. Um, otherwise, I just got waters, and I didn't bring any lunches or whatnot. No, 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 no. You know, we're going. Yeah. You know, but um, okay. So, you volunteered, and how did you get here? The um, in okay. Well, I got out of the hospital. Um, in Dalton? No, in Atlanta from the date rape drug. Oh, but uh, how'd you get to the hospital? I don't remember. Um, oh, Lord. So they was, basically, but this happened in Dalton, and you were basically transported. No, no, this was in Atlanta. I walked from Dalton to Atlanta. Oh, that's right. You just said that. Oh, my God. Um, in Atlanta, I was I was in the hospital for four days. They, they told me I did nothing wrong. There, there was no police involved or anything. I can't tell you how I got there. The, the, I remember sitting on the bench with a guy. And then waking up in the hospital throwing up. 
Um, oh my God, Charlie. So I stayed there for four days. They they made me better. Uh, they they gave me I think something for the not some some type of prescription. I don't even no actually I don't think they gave me a prescription. Um, let's see. So they they the hospital released me. I was at the Lindbergh Station, which is not a good territory for a white Caucasian woman who just got released from the hospital from a date rape drug. And you're talking about that this now this is in Atlanta. This is in Atlanta. Okay. Um, so I, I, I had two dollars to my name at that particular time, at that particular moment in time, and I, I went and bought a pack of cigars, and then I knew to find a different area to sleep that night because the area I was in was bad. Um. In Atlanta? In Atlanta. Oh my God. Um, I didn't have the two dollars and fifty cents at the time to, to go on MARTA, so I opened the gate and, uh. Uh, there was a police officer in af behind the gate and she saw me and gave me a ticket um, for you know not paying the two dollars and fifty cents well I got I ended up walking the streets of Atlanta she let me get on Marta I ended up walking the streets of Atlanta with nowhere to go nothing to do I to, I didn't want to you know do what I was doing um, it was at nighttime at this point it was like seven seven eight nine ten eleven it, it was dark it was a it was the evening night. Yeah. yeah um i ran across this guy sitting in a car who was selling uh little shots of alcohol like that you know the little the little ones um i think it was 50 cents or a dollar or it was two dollars anyway i had the change for it so i bought one and that was the last drink i took um oh so that's the setup and there was um, there was some African Americans. I mean, they could have been Caucasian. It, it, there was some really bad people that were just lurking around, and I got scared. So I went to the hospital, Emory, and I told them that I was homeless. I was scared. I told them I got released from the hospital, you know, earlier today. I just told them everything, you know, that I walked from Dalton. I didn't think I told them that, but I mean, when I say I told them everything, I told them everything. Everything that you remember. Yes, they 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 didn't admit me, but they put me in a hallway and they ten thirteened me, which is um, go go to a, a mental. committal. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, basically, a, a involuntary committal. Pretty uh, much. Yeah, where you you're you're staying regardless to whether you want to leave or not. Pretty much. Yeah pretty much which it really helped me out because I ended up right here so I my I, god I am I am floored by this information yeah I had no idea and I'm, I'm sure you you know in transporting back and forth you, you know you lost all your stuff probably didn't have my card you know didn't remember my your phone numbers changed like five times yeah you know since yeah. I've known you it's it's been a journey it's been a journey, Daryl. It's been a journey. <laughs> that is an understatement. Yeah. Um, okay, so how long were you in the hospital then? For this, um, it was a day and a half, I think it was. Okay. Um, so they 1013 me. I went to the first detox. I went to the first in-house facilitation place. Um they continued they gave me they were continuing to give me the medicine to detox from the date rape drug so um i stayed there for four days they calmed me they were giving me medicine to calm me down and everything also um then they put me in a program that we are living proof because i was homeless and they didn't want to just let me go back on the streets so we are living proof is a rehab but you're allowed to work in that rehab it's um it's not an insurance based rehab it's a work program so they put me in we are living proof and i was still having a few of my mental issues uh, we are living proof said that i would be better off at this facility so they they shipped me over here um this facility put me in they, they said yes you, you have a bed here this is where you live you can stay here not a problem but you have to go back to the to the in-house hospitalization to get the proper medicine just for four more days so oh. it was a different place this time they chose the place okay so you were transferred basically from the first location to this new place where you are now correct oh that's fantastic yeah and um i went i followed their advice and i'm on the proper medicine 
Um, I'm 28 days in. I'm 42 or 43 days sober from, from any alcohol. Um, I take... Was drug- that the main the main thing besides being drugged, which isn't your fault? Bruno, you got to move your large melon. I can't see. I, I need uh, a direction. Yeah. You know what? You've been wanting to get out of town. You've you know, we've talked about it before. You're like, I hate this freaking place, you know. It was Dalton. <laughs> and uh, I want to show you a video. Um, it was the one that you, that I emailed you about this morning before I left the house. And uh-huh. he just wants kisses. I love you too, Bruno. He's like, yes. where's my girl? Where's my girl? Yes. There she is. She's a good boy, Bruno. Oh, yeah, that was a good one, huh? Yeah, I told you. You get to go for a ride. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, he will when the temperature yeah. is nice, and then he's got a back seat to hang out in. You it's know, my car. car is so close to being fixed. Everything's right. in place. I just got to put the belt back on, and I'm having trouble because I left my leverage bar at the junkyard. Long story, no big deal. But, um, <laughs> yeah, you've been, <laughs> yeah. No, he'll, he'll clean you up. Yeah, he needs to go out. He, he's, only, he's only been out 35 times. Yeah, well, he's not going to stop. You know that. You lucky my tongue's not that long. <laughs> yes. All right, I'll tell you what. Why don't we just get out and take a walk down here? I'm yeah. going to get his, his little uh, uh, leash thing going on. Is, oh, no, that's your belt for your car or something. What is that? Oh, I thought that was... Oh, leash. no, that's one of those... Uh, that's you can hand that to me if you want. I'll toss them back to you. Um, oh yeah, actually that's this. This is a uh, replacement belt huh. in case mine goes bad. Okay. Yeah, I got that when I got the the replacement alternator. All right, we can bust out. I'll just leave the keys here. I'll All grab, right. I'll grab my phone yeah, just. Not going that far. No. Okay. Is that Gigi? I'm sure you're familiar with Gigi. Yeah. She sent me twenty dollars on my PayPal, and we're gonna take you. Well, we, I, am gonna take you to, um, I don't know wherever you want to go, Dollar General, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, to get miscellaneous this and that. She said you wanted coffee creamer. I have coffee creamer. Okay. Um. um well, she was going to buy some, and... She is amazing. I'm, I'm... Oh, certainly. But, uh, yeah. Some, just something to think about. Yeah. Um... No hurries. I tell you what, um... I'm not sure... Walmart's not that too far from here, or Dollar General. Oh, well, well, I mean, whatever you want to do. I mean, you can you, you can get food. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. Do you, yeah, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Now, um, follow this. Yeah, follow this. We're going to find you a restroom or something. Well, yeah, well, I, I could go there, but that's, I don't even know if they're open. Yeah. I mean, right now, you know, they're more of a sports bar type deal. But a lot of the places I looked at, I looked at different restaurants, you know, to go hang out at. Because I was, you know, famishing a giant fat ass greasy nasty burger <laughs> kind of like what they have at you know waffle house uh-huh. yeah. but then i was like okay i was like oh, now i want a steak so but it really doesn't matter but the point is You're is that need to take a left right here uh, yeah go ahead and go right here there's right. i'll just make it up all right they're gonna stop mcdonald's close enough there you go all right we're on enough time for the restroom. Then... I guess I'll go. Oh, yeah, that's cross street. I could Google... Um, I know Walmart's not that far from here. Okay. You want to go there first? Yeah, like, well, after you use the restroom. Oh, yeah, well, you know, I mean, after, uh, I mean, before you get something to eat. Um, how hungry are you? Oh, uh, I mean, no, I'm... My hunger issues are not a problem. I mean, I'm not... I just didn't eat this morning because I knew... And then I thought of the Chinese place, and it's like, you know what? That's going to put me right to sleep. Is it? Because I'm going to eat 18 pounds of food. <laughs> I love the Chinese place. I, I'm sorry to laugh, but I love it. Yeah, I am so 
chickened out. <laughs> you know, I mean, I've had chicken in the last seven, eight days. We've got a big ass pot of chicken noodle, and there's, you know, we've had chicken wings back to back days, and then uh, it's just chicken breasts, and it's, it's just like, oh man. Well, let's, well, if you don't mind, why don't we, why don't you pee? Then we'll find somewhere to eat that's not Chinese. Um, something rev relative, relatively. <laughs> relatively. Re one more time. Relatively. Relatively. Rel <laughs> relatively. Rel relatively. Close enough. <laughs> okay. That date rape drug really messed me up somehow. Um, My God. It really honestly did. And you have no obvious recollection of how this happened or maybe, you know, the guy on the bench, you know. Is, he had slipped it to me. So. And he's the one that sold you the drink. Uh, no, it was a different guy. Okay, but it, do you think it was in that drink? No, no, I, I had opened it myself. Oh, I gotta yeah. go straight? Yeah, go straight. All right. I had opened the drink, so there was nothing in that. In okay, that so it was drink. sealed? Yes. Cool. Well, there's that. Yeah. Um, what, what I was thinking was, while uh, we'll eat, then go to Walmart, because there's a few things that... I needed to grab anyway okay. tomorrow we'd see that's, that's one of the things I really don't like but I don't I'm not voicing it to anyone except you right now <laughs> they they have a van full of people and we go to Walmart once a week and then it's you know it, 10 girls 10 it's women. buy your own stuff it's buy your own stuff but yeah. then there's no room on the van to put the stuff Wow so it's kind of like you know very confided and i have you know like you're snuggling everything you own yeah you know, everything yeah. you bought so if you don't mind we'll eat then we'll go to walmart sure. and i can try to get some of you know at least some of yeah and then um miss just get get something with miss Gigi's money because well why don't you let me buy you lunch oh no no that's unheard of all right, all right. no that's not gonna happen well, I, I need a, I really need a belt, and, uh... Okay, well, then we'll get a belt. Yeah, there's some other use, stuff. Use the lunch money that you were going to spend. I got a handicap tag, so I'm only going to be less than five minutes. All right. So I'm just going to chill here for a second. And then, uh, I'll be right back. All right. In the meantime, you can, uh, hang out with the brew. All right. Hey, brew. Yeah, hello. Cool. He's always wanting to know what's going on in our surroundings. You know, this is my first time ever here in this area. I've never been here before. Okay. You that thing's right there. Huh? It's 20 feet from that door. Okay. Yeah, the restroom. I'll tell you what. Let's do the Google action. Not that I'm a big fan of the Google. It brought me by uh, <laughs> three farmer stands. Guy selling watermelons. <laughs> you know. All right, let's try this. Walmart near me. Here are the listings for Walmart Supercenter within five miles. There you go. All right. You take a look at the addresses oh. and whatnot. Okay. It says it's 2.4 miles away. All right. Go ahead and Got make it happen. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a few things like... Um, a Tupperware um, container. Um, well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you? Uh, I don't know if you can strip that page out of there, or whether you want to bring the whole notebook in with you to the store you know, in the Walmart. Yeah. If, um, That's if, up to you. Yeah. No, thank you. Um, Not yeah. A problem. Um, I have a pencil and everything. I'm. 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 I'm different now. <laughs> have you noticed? Well, you're very organized. You know, it's a. Uh, I remember before, it's just like, man, you're pulling that freaking wagon. play school wagon down the street, and I'm like, oh my God. And then it was gone, and then it's like, well, there was a situation there. <laughs> oh, I've got, a, I've got a few side things on top of that for you that I'll tell you about here in a little bit. Right. But once we get to Walmart here, I'll stop and we'll get a, I'm gonna show you that video. All right. It's 20 minutes long, but. You don't. There's a five minute slowdown at 400 feet. You are still on the fastest route. There's a five minute slowdown now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how long does it say? I mean, mileage wise? Um, 2.1. Yeah, now it's 1.8. 1.8. 
Oh, 1.8. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, so we travel 1,500 feet. Good to know. But uh, yeah, not a problem. Yeah, I would rather, uh, you know, if you're not necessarily overly hungry, you know, we'll use this, you know, the the money that you, you know, that they sent for you to get some stuff. Yeah, definitely. That that yeah. would that would help me out. Because I mean. You have food at your back at your place, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um. I I have um, I have grits. I have. Um. There's hot dogs in there. Well, those those are for everyone. Um. And me personally, I have grits and a loaf of bread. And then tomorrow or right now, I I can get more with the food stamp card and have. Oh, know, fantastic. Um, have okay. some easy, have some macaroni, some Brussels sprouts. Um, so you got like, is there a community, uh, you know, like a break room where you can cook? Is there a stove and uh, whatnot? Yeah, it's it's a normal apartment. It's with oh, the kitchen and stuff. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah, it's just a you know, just a bunch of. People. I was thinking more like an office building. No, 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 no. Um, oh, no, that's and, great. And it's really not a bunch of people. It's you know, we we make it work. Well, you start to know each other's schedules as to who's going to shower when, and Correct. you know what I mean. Correct. It's yeah. like you start getting used to patterns, so yep. you optimize the times that you're available to do so. I wake up yeah. at five a.m. every morning. To wow. Take a shower. Um, we have to be. Oh, and that's another thing. Oh, that we got the most hot water. <laughs> well, yeah, that that also. Um, <laughs> Um, I'm out of everybody's way by 6 a.m. and every you know the the other three ladies can take a shower and they have till 7:30 from 6 to 7:30, so that's ample ample enough time for them. Um, so you, you're able to just from that point just lounge around and do what you want, make sure. breakfast. You know, if you wanted to yep. heat up a sausage biscuit or something, yep. you know. Yeah. Awesome. And that's funny you say that because that's what I'm going to do this week. I'm going to get some biscuits. Some Jimmy Deans? And, and, uh, no, I was going to make them. I was oh. going to do like a can, like frozen biscuits or a can of biscuits and scramble a whole bunch of eggs and put the egg and the cheese on the biscuit and wrap them up in cellophane wrap and freeze them. That way when I want one, I can go and grab one. Thinking outside the box. Yes. Well, that's not necessarily outside the box. That's just good planning. It is good planning. What the hell, man? Sunday. What is there, a funeral? I hope not. Uh, well, speaking of which, um, man. I, uh, just minutes before I left the house today, you know, and I had emailed you, this is after the fact, that I had, uh, um, received a, an email from one of my viewers um, her name's Teresa and she's well informed you know she's been here from the beginning you know about a year now you know and uh, she sent me a news clipping about someone in your old neighborhood my neighborhood and uh, this woman was beaten to death with a rock a homeless woman. Oh my. And she's blind. She was blind to begin with. Her name was Luz Davina. Our age, well my age, she's actually one year younger than I am, I believe. Uh, 53. And I had met her about three weeks ago at the Walgreens pharmacy. And she was sitting on the sidewalk with her back against the, the brick building. And she had a, you know, a walking stick, you know, the red and white checkered walking stick. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, sunglasses on, you know. So I was like, well, it is sunny out, you know. But I, 30 seconds after I met her, I, you know, she's like, oh, I'm blind. Anyway, she was murdered. There was an arrest made. Well, that's good. And I've got the information here. I printed it. This was all just seconds before I even contacted you. So I updated my video to put a link of the news article in. And it is true. It's an official news article. It's not just some 
in the video that I shot this morning, well, I didn't shoot it, I put it up, mm -hmm. was, uh, what the hell is going on? Um, you think it's Black Friday or something? Um, and what I was told in the video is absolutely true. Yeah. Because, you know, it, the word spreads through the homeless community as to, you know, hey, this guy, you know, watch out for him. He's a piece of work, you know, whatever. Or, you know, don't hang out with this person. You know, you know the drill. Yeah. Uh, and it just threw me totally off because that is somebody I physically have met recently who is now murdered. Apparently, it was her boyfriend. And he's 54, which is exactly my age. So they're only a year or two apart, give or take. But she was blind. And she got murdered with a rock. And they found her body underneath a bridge over by Willowdale, you know, the apartment complex over there. Yeah. The stay lodge, I believe. And they found him not too much further away. From what I, from what I read on the report, yeah, I would trust the news report before I would trust anybody's other word of mouth.